Hey guys, what's up? We're finally ready for episode 11 of Pretty Little Liars. Let's get right into it. Scared and shattered by news that your longtime love is A. We banged A. You shall must pull yourself together in time for a homecoming dance that's sure to end in disaster. Oh boy. Yo, take some dick pics. I don't understand. Brian is A. We can, ex we can blackmail A too. We can play the same damn game. I need more evidence. Yeah, Snoop on the computer. There's a note on the... No, Snoop on the computer. Are you kidding me? A note on the desk? No. Got it. Homecoming night. 9.30 p.m. Woods behind Rosewood playing fields. What's happening in the woods at 9.30 tonight? Uh-oh. There you are, beautiful. For a second there, I thought you were gone. Dude, nice body though. And that last night was all just an amazing dream. Are you leaving? Yeah, my dad's expecting me. That's too bad. <laughs> Back in a way, like, no, get closer, screw it. Who cares if he's A? Who cares if he was screwing with? No, I'm just kidding, I was screwed up. But I get it, I have a pretty busy day today too. I'm really excited for tonight. Kiss him goodbye. Just get out of there. Don't act like anything's wrong. Do the kiss goodbye. I better kiss him. Otherwise, he might suspect something's up. Okay, now I really wish we could spend the whole day together. Same, but you know my dad. We'll talk later, okay? Can't wait. Bye, Brian. Dun, dun, dun. Dude, he probably recorded, a, he probably made a sex tape of our encounter. And we're going to get blackmailed again. We've already been blackmailed like 50 times and we just keep lying about it for no reason. <laughs> this is crazy. I love this guy. He can't be A. He just can't. Or can he? I need to find out for sure. Hello, miss. Does Brian Burke live here? Yes, why? I'm his driver. I'm here to pick him up. But Brian doesn't have a driver. I'm afraid he does, and I'm afraid I'm him. He must have booked a limo for homecoming. I think there's been a mix-up. The dance starts at 7 p.m., not 7 a.m. No mix-up. I was told to pick Mr. Burke up at 7 a.m. sharp. He has a lot to do before the event at Rosewood High. A lot to do? Like what? Ask him where he's taking Brian. Ask him what he knows about Brian. Yo, where are you taking him? Just can this guy actually tell us? That information is confidential. And I know better than to cross a client as powerful as this. A client as powerful as this? What if Brian's planning something for tonight and this guy's going to help him do it? He's going to kidnap us. Then again, it could be totally innocent. Miss, we really must get going. So if you wouldn't mind stepping aside. Yeah, sure. That's like <laughs> your, your anxiety talking where you're like just doing something standard and you immediately, your mind goes to like the worst possible thing that could happen and how you're going to die. You know where we need to go? Yes, sir. I apologize for the earlier start, but today is a bit unusual. I have to do something very important tonight, so I need time to prepare. I'm talking life and death here. Nothing can go wrong. Understood? Yes, sir. Good, let's go. He's gonna kidnap us, murder us, release our sex tape that he secretly recorded. This is it. Wherever Brian goes right now, prove... Oh my god, what if he plays it? He gets like, oh my god. Oh my god, what if you read your homecoming dance and then someone secretly recorded you having sex and then they played it for the whole homecoming dance? Oh my god. This is it. Wherever Brian goes right now, prove whether he's A or if he's totally innocent. If I want to know the truth, then I need to follow him. Follow that limo and find out the truth about Brian. All right, I did it. I bought him so I could do it. I need a car at the corner of Bluebird and Moss. Now. Time to find out the truth once and for all. First, Brian went to the florist. I need a bouquet. Dude, it's, it's gonna end up being totally innocent. No problem, any specific kind of flower? Tulips. Brian knows how much I love tulips. Is he buying them for me? The mistake's gonna be like, oh my god, he really does love me. 
Sorry, I just promised our last batch of tulips to another customer. Oh, he's about to slap her. How about I make you a nice wildflower arrangement? Or perhaps something with peonies. Oh, and our begonias. No, no begonias. It has to be tulips. Oh my God, you guys, I just bought these flowers for the big pot in my front yard. Um, and it looks like a fleshlight. It looks like you could put your dick in it. But sir, another customer. Some flowers are wild. Screw your other customer. I don't care what you have to do. Just give me the tulips, like Georgia O'Keeffe and her vagina flowers. Of course, sir. No problem. I'll go back and get them right now. Get what you needed? Yeah, let's go. This guy's such a prick. He just, like, looks at his driver so angry. Keep following them. I like seeing, like, if you're on a first date with someone and say, you know, you're at, like, a restaurant where you have a server or there's a driver or whatever, I like seeing how people treat whoever's serving them. Turned out the flowers weren't for me. Brian brought them to his next stop. Ooh. Allison's Memorial. So he's getting revenge for Allison, maybe? Hi, Allison. I brought you some flowers. The flowers were for Allie, but why tulips? I'm not sure if you even like tulips, but they're Mistake's favorites. Or they used to be, at least, back before she left for Ro me for Rosewood. You're probably wondering what I'm doing here. After all, we didn't know each other all that well. But I've been thinking about you a lot lately. Things are getting scary in Rosewood. Mistake isn't safe. I want to protect her, but sometimes I think I'm making it worse. What if my friends are going to murder me and release my sex tape? And A's been on my side this entire time. I'm not exactly sure why I came here. I guess I just wanted to talk to someone who understands. And I also wanted to say... I'm sorry for what happened to you. And for not being able to stop the person that did it. This doesn't make sense. If Brian's A, why would he bring flowers to Allie and say all those nice things? Like, is he trying to find out who killed her? <sighs> or our friends murder her. They're going to murder me next. I followed Brian to one more stop. The police station. Chief, it's Brian. Brian Burke. Wait, please don't hang up. I just want to... Hung up on... Oh, no. <laughs> Look, I know how you feel about me, Chief. I can't change that. All I can do is accept it. But staying away from your daughter? I can't accept that. I care about her, sir, and that's why I put my dick in her last night. What? He's here to talk to my dad about me? Thank you, sir. I knew you'd hear me out. I know that Detective Ruiz has everyone convinced that mistake is guilty. You and I both know that's not true. Random cop. And if you let me come in and talk to you, I can prove it. Thank you, sir. You won't regret this. Wow. I don't understand. Brian is protecting me? Maybe he's not A after all. Thank God I followed him. I need to talk to the girls. Driver, I'd like to go home now. Dun, 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 dun. The girls came over to get ready for a homecoming, and I told them everything. Murderers! <laughs> Let's jump to conclusions. I don't trust my friends anymore. So you saw Brian to do a couple nice things today? That doesn't change the fact that we tracked Allie's phone to his address. All I'm saying is there could be some other explanation. The A who's been stalking us would ne never bring flowers to Allie's memorial, let alone go to the police station to defend me. They look guilty. Actually, they just look scared. I actually have no idea what's going on, so let's just continue. Mistake, I'm sorry, but Brian is A, okay? He's the one who's been stalking and threatening us. Allie and Mona. That was Brian. Come on, Spence. You can't blame her for wanting to believe Brian's innocent. Yes, thank you, Em. But mistake, Spence does have a point. The evidence that Brian is A is a lot stronger than any of the... Emily, spit it out. Fucking spit it out, Emily. That he's not. Evidence. <laughs> okay, back up. Where we talked this morning, you were still at Brian's. Does that mean you, you know, slept over? Oh, Hannah's trying to get the dicking details. I like her. Tell them. <laughs> yeah, we did it. It was fucking hot. 
Was that your first time? Um, tell the truth. Yeah, somehow I always knew my first time would be with Brian. I just didn't picture it quite like this. Uh, back to the main subject. You really think that you what you saw today means Brian is innocent? I still trust Brian. No, I think he's a... <sighs> That's what I don't know. I really don't know. We need an I don't fucking know option. This is a lot to put on someone who's just lost their virginity, has a sex tape possibly coming out, and is going to be murdered. That's a lot to put on me. I just don't know. Uh, I don't like either of these. Um... Do I trust him? God, I'll stop. <laughs> I mean, if they tracked her phone to his place, that's really sketchy. You know, let's just, you know, we're talking to our friends right now and they want to hear that we don't trust him. So I am going to say that. Hopefully it doesn't impact my relationship with him. It technically shouldn't since I'm only saying this to my girlfriends, but sometimes game, like choice games mess up. No, I think he's eight. Maybe you guys are right. What I saw today wasn't proof of anything. Maybe thinking Brian is innocent is just wishful thinking. But still, it's so hard to believe that my childhood best friend is A. It makes no sense. Maybe there are things you don't know about him. Those nice things you saw him doing, he still kept them a secret from you. She has a point. A few seemingly kind acts doesn't change the fact that we have evidence. Or that Brian is hiding things from you. Don't be stupid mistake. Brian's not who he says he is. He tried to hurt you. He tried to hurt your friends. Who cares if he bought flowers? You think psychos can't buy flowers? You don't think killers do things to make themselves look innocent? Mistake, he might have killed Allie. I don't care what else you saw him do today. At least he got flowers for Allie. Mona's dead too. Where are her flowers? Think of the flowers for Mona. Okay, fine. I agree. We need more. We need to find out more. No, what you need to do is take him down. Spencer, relax. Take him down how? This isn't on me? Girl, the motherfucking police. You said you searched his desk this morning, right? Yeah, I found a note. What did it say? Homecoming night, 9.30 p.m. Woods behind Rosewood playing. Oh, wait, we can't go to the police because we stole the fucking phone from them. My God. Brian's always writing notes to himself. He has a really bad memory. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. There are only two things that go on in those creepy woods after dark. Shady hookups and shady deeds. If Brian wanted to hook up, you would have gotten a note too. We can't assume that Brian's going to do something shady in the woods. I thought he was going to do something bad today, but when I actually followed him, I mean, it's 9.30 p.m. in the woods though, mistake. I could have been more wrong. Mistake, wake up. He's obviously planning something for tonight, and now we know where and when. We'll go to the woods, get proof that he's A, and turn him over to Ruiz. That we can end this tonight. Spence, I don't know if I can do this. I'm still shaking from this morning. I'm not sure I can make it through the dance, let alone turn Brian over to the cops. Especially after what I saw today. Mistake, seriously, you have to go to the dance. Besides, at least you have a date, unlike me. Yeah, sure, at least I have a date that might be a fucking murderer. Apparently, Caleb doesn't do dances. Mistake, you have to do this. Even if he is an A, that doesn't change the fact that A is still a threat. As long as A's out there, we're in danger. My, my, little liar. You left quite an impression on me last night. Who knew you could be so feisty? Then again, looks are deceiving. You can spend your whole life with someone and still have no idea who they are. Oh my god, what the heck? One second, they're bringing you flowers. And the next, they're making threats on your life. But don't you worry, little mouse. I have a feeling that you and I will get to know each other very well tonight. See, like, I feel like they want me to think it's him, but it's not actually him. What if it's the driver who's a fucking weirdo? See you at the dance, A. A. Tell the truth. Lie. Yeah, something's definitely going down tonight. A, whoever that is, is going to strike. Ugh, I'm so sick of the psycho stalker. Sorry, mistake, but you're going to this dance. That's the last time A's going to threaten any of us. Look, A can't do anything at the dance if we don't go to the dance. <laughs> like, let's not go and get murdered. Uh, ugh, what a two-faced little rat. I could kill him. That's it. You're going to the dance. And you're going to take that psycho stalker down. And I don't know about this. Now, choose an outfit that you have to pay $3 for. No, I'm just or am I? Wow, you guys look amazing. I didn't buy anything. Now it's your turn. You need to wear a dress so hot Brian wouldn't dare come after you in it. Exactly. The right dress could change Brian from a lion to a lamb. You should wear something special that has sentimental value. If he's A, he'll be too busy falling in love with you all. 
over again to hurt you. And if he's not A, then he'll just be falling in love with you. He did just tell me he fell for me when I was wearing a pink dress. Seriously, that's amazing. Wear that sexy pink dress we picked out together. It'll be perfect. I need to be strategic tonight, so I should probably wear... Yeah, let's see. How much money? Whoa, this dress is... Wow. If Brian liked that other pink dress, he'll drool when he sees me in this. Duh, you look hot. If he's A, he'll forget all about wanting to hurt you if you wear that dress. And if he's not A, then that dress will make him fall even more in love with you. All right. Do we have... Do we just get it? Oh, no. I refuse. I'm sorry. I just refuse. Maybe... Sh no. Absolutely not. I will pay for the freaking plot lines and cho good choices, which still sucks major ass. But, no, I refuse. I'll wear this. This is hot, too. Brian never compliments me when I wear black. <laughs> Whatever, I don't give a fuck. I'll wear this one. It looked like a padded cell. Ding dong, the witch is dead, the wicked witch, the wicked witch. Brian's here. It's okay, don't freak out. Remember, just act normal. Brian needs to think everything's okay. Hey, Miss Day, can I talk to you for a sec? What's up? Ezra and I aren't doing very well. I think he's going to break up with me for good this time. Oh no, maybe it's for the best. I'm really sorry, Arya, but maybe it's for the best. It's been a while since you were actually happy being with him. Yeah. But hey, if it's meant to be, then everything will work out in the end. Thanks for listening, Mistake. Hey, are you going to tell Brian that you followed him today? Yeah, no. What do you think I should do? I'm not sure yet. What should what do you do? I'd be really careful if I were you. If Brian's innocent, he'll probably be happy you saw him do those nice things today. But if she really is A, then she might be really mad you followed her. Her? Um, <laughs> I Wouldn't you be sort of upset someone didn't trust you, so they followed you anyways, like no matter what? And you don't want to make A mad. That's good advice. Thanks, Arya. Hello? Where's my beautiful date? Get down here. I can't wait any longer. Remember, just make him think everything is normal. Yeah. Ready? Yes. As long as ready as I'll ever be you. Not even a little bit. We got this. We got this. Hi, Brian. Okay, gotta make him feel normal. Compliment suit. Wow, nice suit. You look super handsome. I'm glad you think so. You look really pretty tonight, mistake. Thanks. Okay, everyone ready? The limo's waiting. Hey, wait up. Hold the limo. <laughs> Aww. He came through. What happened to your no dances policy? I changed my mind. Come on, let's go. Dude, his his driver is the psycho and it's going to drive us off a cliff so we all die. Time to go, Cinderella. Don't be late. A. Brian? You coming, mistake? I'm not going to let him scare me. But it, he was just there, like, does he have, like, a timed text messenger? I wouldn't miss this for the world. It's not like he was holding his phone. It's the driver. It is the driver. He's getting involved in his client's teenage affairs. I don't know. I just don't know. Let's see. Wow. This is, this, this dancing is embarrassing. Whoa, everyone looks awesome all dressed up. Who knew all the randos at our school would clean up so nice? And the dance floor looks pretty fun too. Oh, she. What the? What are all these cops doing here? They're gonna arrest us. Not exactly the chaperones you were expecting, huh? Someone swat the school. <laughs> Believe me, the last thing you want to do is crash your little party. But someone needs to keep this place safe. Safe from what? Having fun? No, from Allie's killer. Oh, they know. The killer is going to strike again. Tonight, right here at homecoming. Plans foiled. Nah. 
The next episode, all right, let's see. The next episode is here. I kind of liked waiting for the next episode so I could have two at a time. All right. The cop crash, the cops crash homecoming, destroying your plans to catch A and prove your innocence. But the sixth twist of the night is still to come. What if it's that cop that's the murderer? 